Life isn't long enough to justify how long you kept us waiting. I will never forget you tossing me away like a used burger wrapper. Pinkoon may forgive, but he does not forget. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't mind. It really wasn't that bad. So, where'd you go? Um, well... From excuses to secrets. Ugh. Let us off your mediocre roller coaster of deceit. I went to meet with the Freedom Fighters. Are you kidding me? Why didn't you bring us along, you oaf? I didn't do it to be mean. This would have been the perfect chance to exact my revenge. I hope you at least drove them to self-destruction while you were there. No, I didn't. Then why am I even talking to you? Ugh, the depths of your impotence continue to astound. Okay, so you met with the Freedom Fighters. Did you learn anything about the delusion? Or what they're up to? Yeah. Well, it's not much, but... I mean, it's something. The Freedom Fighters are definitely on this, but they seem to be chasing after something different than we are. That mean they think someone else is the deluser? Could it really be anyone other than Hahabu, though? That's seeming more and more likely. But this is the Freedom Fighters we're talking about. They were probably lying just to throw us off, the scum. I don't know if I see them going through that much trouble just to get us off their tail. Knowing their boss, I'd imagine he'd sooner challenge us to a fight directly than try a sneaky trick like that. Which is why I think they've figured something out already. Something that we just aren't seeing. Does this mean that we're going to resume our search for suspicious people? I wish it did, but it's about late enough that the Occupa crowds are starting to thin out. Meaning that we're done for the day. Alright, let's meet up here again tomorrow at the crack of noon. We should be able to speak with Hahabu again and find out if he's our deluser, too. Now that's a plan. Pat yourselves on the back, everyone. You've earned it. Aha! Asahi! Whoa, hey! This is great! I've been looking all over for you. Long time no see. Not if you look at it calendar-wise. Oh, yeah. Short time no see, I guess. So, Asahi, would you mind if I vented at you just a bit? Huh? Vent? At me? That's what I said. You're neat, so it's not like you don't have the time, right? There's no way I'm getting out of this without being vented at, is there? Oh, so you really don't have time? Oh, no, I do. Honestly, I don't even mind that much. The only thing waiting for me back home is my bed. And if you really want to vent that badly, something must have happened. So, what's the story? Well, you know those just one of those days, days? They don't stop when you're a grown-up. If you would, please just wait right there for a moment. What? Where are you going? Just wait there. Uh, okay. There we are. Sorry about that. All this adult talk got me thinking about adult beverages. Here you go. Cheers. Um, cheers. Ah, that hits the spot. Nothing else quite like a can of chew high on a crisp December night. How come I only get a Mr. Pepper? Because only adults get to drink alcohol, dum-dum. Now, you ready for some vent explosion? <sighs> yeah, let's do this. If you're sad enough to vent to a lonely neat like myself, I'll take whatever you can dish. I've had a very good friend since way long ago. The old childhood friend trope, you could say. We always did everything together. We'd chase around a soccer ball in the schoolyard, play catch on the riverbank, that sort of thing. Those are some outdoorsy hobbies. My point is, we were together constantly since we first met in elementary school, through junior high and high school, too. We went to separate colleges, but we'd always meet up in Tokyo in the spring. So I always thought we'd be together forever. I don't like where this is going. In spring, we rode together on a single bike through roads lined with sakura trees in full bloom. In summer, we attended the Neighborhood Association's festival and tried to fire off some fireworks. Got the popo on us. In fall, we tried to roast up some sweet potatoes with fallen leaves and kind of triggered a small fire scare. And in winter, since it was so cold, we'd always always make snowmen together. And I thought we'd always continue on just like that, forever and ever. So even though you were that close, you still 
Time has a way of changing people. Maybe it was our environments catching up with us, I don't know. But whatever the case, as much as I wanted things to stay the same forever, they just didn't. They couldn't. We all grow up eventually. And when we do, we all end up walking our own roads. Would you say you're fighting with your childhood friend then? Don't know if you can even really call that a fight. More like a passing scowl. Trivial nonsense, really. And you don't think you two can make up? Hmm, don't know, maybe. I'd sure like to. Wait, what? Are you waiting for your friend to apologize to you or something? Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. I think I kind of messed up the story a little bit. But I really, really do want to make up. God, you're drunk already, aren't you? After one chew high? <laughs> I'm fine. So, Asahi, do you remember who I am yet? Huh? Uh, um... <sighs> Can't believe you, but thank you. I feel a lot better getting all of that off my chest. I mean, all I did was sit here and listen, but I'm happy to do that whenever you need me to. I think it's about time you and I both head home now. I hope you're able to make up with your friend. You too, Asahi. Sorry, what? See you around. Me too. What's wrong? Could that have been... Yeah. I just can't figure out why. Hey, Mizuki, how about this? If you let me ride on your back, we'll get there way faster. This is a school road, we'll get in trouble. It's fine, it's fine. Come on, now up we go. How about you pedal, and I ride you piggyback instead? Yo, Mizuki, check it out! Is this not, like, the very picture of summer? Whoa, what the heck? Where did you get all those fireworks? The old man at the stand just gave them to me! Let's fire them off after the festival! Asahi, what did I tell you about going overboard? Better overboard than underboard, right? Nobody will notice if we set these off in the empty water out back anyway. All right. But if the cops catch us, you're gonna have to bow and plead and apologize enough for both of us. Got it? What have you got there? You've got a ridiculous smile on your face, and that's never a good sign. Read them and weep, man. Sweet potatoes. We're gonna roast them up good. And where exactly do you plan on doing this? Don't tell me you're talking about that vacant lot again. Of course I am. There's a ton of fallen leaves there, so we'll have a fire going in no time. <sighs> I can see where this is going. I'll go get some buckets ready, just in case of the inevitable. <sighs> where are your clothes? It's the dead of winter, man. At least wear a scarf. I'm fine in this. I'm like the sun. I generate my own heat. Then am I just imagining you shivering like a scared chihuahua? Y yeah, you are. It's just your imagination. Uh, I'm not gonna let a little snow keep me down. Yeah, that's probably just a coincidence. It's gotta be. Yo, Asahi! Pink control to Major Asahi! What's gotten into you? Huh. Talk to me, dingus! Talk to me! <laughs> know what? I don't even care anymore. Good. Looks like the gang's all here. Don't you? Looks like the gang's all here, us. Especially when you're always the last to show up. Can you really expect anything else from a neat, though? If he were the first one here, I'd actually be worried. Can't argue with that. So what now, alarmless leader? Ko, 
You and I are off to talk to Hahabu again. Nippity and Yamato, you two keep watch around here. Roger, Dodger. Oh boy, more waiting around. Why am I stuck with you again today? Everyone know their roles? Good, let's move out. Hey, I asked you a question. Hey! Ah, no errors in judgment here. The era of electronics is eternal. My chosen path was not a mistake. Exact same as yesterday, word for word. So he's not the Deluser then? Let's talk to him just to be sure, but try to be discreet about it. <gasps> hmm? Now he's noticed us. At least have the decency to put your phone on vibrate. Who'd be calling me now anyway? Huh? Nippity? Are you okay? What's going on? The Delusionscape entrance, it's appeared. What? It has? Whatever you two did, it must have worked. Ryu, don't move a muscle. We'll be right there. The entrance? Yeah. Come on, we have to hurry. A Delusionscape! Here, right here. That's an entrance, all right. But why did it appear? Huh? It wasn't you two? Nope, definitely not. We didn't have a chance to do anything. And Hahabu was repeating the exact same dialogue he said yesterday anyway. Why is this here then? I'm guessing the real Deluser has been disturbed in some way. Well, at least we can cross Mr. Electronics off our suspect list. We've been after the wrong man this whole time. I'd say we lucked out, though. I don't think anyone else has gone in there yet. Then we'll be the first. One small step for Neat. Hold it. What is it, Ko? What do you plan on doing in there? Well... It's up to you whether to nullify or preserve it. Choose wisely. I have no idea. What kind of answer is that? The kind of answer that a guy who knows we can't let somebody else go in and destroy it gives. Now come on, everybody. Yeah.